Hey tribe, welcome to the HGDC HG Designs Crochet Podcast. I'm your host Heather. I'm 28 and I live in the East Midlands in Leicester. And today I am coming from my little stash corner. Um, if you're a new viewer, welcome and thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning viewer, hi guys, welcome back. We are over 300 subscribers now, so I just want to say thank you. You lot are amazing. Um, I'm really, really thankful as well for all of you who liked and subscribed and commented last um, on my last video, on my last vlog. So if you want to like this video and make sure you comment so I know that you're watching along, I've got so much to show you. Um, the last vlog was really rushed because I was in a different setup and there was someone walking around the house and I felt a bit awkward. Um, there's no one in the house, though I think next door can hear me. Um, and I've got lots and lots to show you. Um, oh, what to start with first? I think I'm going to start with stash enhancements. Um, but then I want to show you, I want to show you everything. Okay, okay, okay. First up, we're going to do this. So we're on works in progress. Um, last week I showed you the jumper that I'd started. Um, I have put together these granny squares, um, four by five. They're three rounds and then there's two rounds of granny stripe around the panel. Um, and I've got two of these, one for the front and one for the back. The ends are sewn in apart from that joining one. And here's number two, and again, the ends are sewn in. So that feels good. Two body panels. I then have two sleeves, two. So here's sleeve number one, and here's sleeve number two. Now, I have been working on this jumper on and off for... I don't know, um, maybe four or five weeks, maybe a bit longer. Um, and yesterday I actually joined this jumper and I took a picture, which I will put in um, now for you. this picture yesterday I joined the sleeves and the body um, and it looked it looked amazing I'm really really pleased with it however it's now in pieces as you see um, I think that well, as I'm making the pattern up myself in my head I knew how I wanted to put it together I was with my grandma yesterday and we decided on a different um, way of constructing the garment I started to follow that, tried it on, and it just wasn't quite right. Um, I don't want to let myself down with the project, so I have undone the seams and I am going to put it together in the first way in which I had designed it in my head. So to make that a bit clearer, when I put it together yesterday to show with them um, for the picture that you've just seen. I sewed the um, right side of the jumper to the right side of the sleeve, like so, up to the first square. I then did the right side of the sleeve on the other side to the right side of the back piece just the first square, creating a sandwich, and then when you open that up, you have the sleeve in the body pieces, um, and then I, I sewed up the sleeves as well. However, when I put it together, it meant that with where the sleeves were, it was gonna be either a, a really low cut neck off the shoulder, 
um, and it also meant that it was going to finish quite low down and I originally planned for this jumper to finish sort of hip length um, I wanted to be quite cropped so I'm going to take it apart and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the ribbing on the bottom um, so I'm going to cast on my ribbing don't know how yet I've got to work that bit out um, along the bottom like so in circular and do my ribbing or I could do one at a time and then sew the ribbing together um, so it's either or then I'm going to put those panel pieces back on see where it sits um, and do the side panel shaping because I want it to be a little bit loose more of a boxy shape um, I mean I could put some granny squares down the side what do you reckon or do I just do more trebles in plain like this um, and then I'm going to then work on the once I've done the body shaping, I need to put the sleeves in and then I'm going to crochet sort of so the squares will finish like this. And on this jumper you see here, I'm going to crochet the equivalent of this bit in, so the neck shaping, and then I'm going to knit the rib um, either in circulars or individual, whichever one I work out. Um, and that should mean that the jumper, when finished, sits where I want it to, which is really important. Um, I've come this far so it has to be spot on, I can't just bodge it and think mm, it's okay, I've, I've put too much work in. Um, so that is my progress, not as far as I'd like it to have been, I, I kind of thought yesterday I might be able to show you almost a completed garment, or at least try it on, it's back in pieces, but I have sewn the ends in and I have found the yarn tag for you as well, <laughs> she says. Um, oh, yeah, so this jewel, jewel, J E W E L, not jewel, is in fighting, jewel is in gems. Purple <laughs> is good old fashioned DK, and that's 100% acrylic. Um, and I am using four mil knitting needles as it suggests. Um, but a size 3.5 crochet hook because I have a very loose tension so I really like the colour I feel like it really pops and it looks really good on my complexion um, and I'm really pleased with that so far so who knows maybe next week when I show you I might actually be able to put it on I might actually be able to wear it um, I'm really proud of myself with that I'm really proud of how how well it's come together um, as it was just an idea in my head sort of from an image that I'd seen from Pinterest and then a quick sketch and a couple of notes of how I would put it together in my bullet journal to what was yesterday almost a wearable jumper and will be again a wearable jumper very soon. Um, the one thing I do need is some bigger project bags. I'm carrying this around in the wool warehouse delivery bags, but it's actually split its bottom. So I could do with some bigger project bags for garments, as I'm all about the garments these days. Um, right, my other work in progress has also seen a lot of frogging action. The good thing is, is I have filmed clips to, sh to insert here to show you, just so you don't think I'm Billy bobbing you, lying to you. Um, I have made progress. So there's a um, jumper pattern, well, a jumper picture that I saw on Pinterest using the eyelet lace. Hopefully I'm putting it on screen for you now to have a good look at. If you're on my Twitter, HG Designs Crow, C R O, you will have seen that I tweeted about this. Um, I'm obsessed with eyelet lace. So let me show you what I mean. Well, you've seen the picture, hopefully. If uh, me editing Heather has remembered to put it in. These are in my mess. 
Oh dear. Um, here I've used the eyelet lace pattern on my lacy fern socks, which have seen no progress. Um, can you see the eyelets? And that's just got uh, two stitches in between to make that eyelet pattern. Now for the jumper, I want to use the staggered eyelet pattern, but, oh gosh, I don't even know what I've done in here. I've abandoned it part way through, that's great. Um, oops, I wasn't sure on the spacing. I'd counted and I tried a few different things. Um, long story short, I'm going to go for about nine stitches between. Um, so here I am with just ribbing to show you. Um, I've abandoned it part way through a row. Um, did I make a mistake? Is that why I did that? No, I must have just got tired or distracted. I must have got distracted. Um, so this is just simple ribbing at the moment. I am swatching for that um, jumper so that I can make my own pattern. Um, I've got a rough idea in my head but I could do with sitting down with my bullet journal and doing a little doodle and method of construction and things I need to remember. So I uh, note to self, get that done. I am using just um, Drops Fable, I think it's undyed or cream or natural, um, I don't have the ball band here, but I actually have in, it's in one of those two, I've got about 600 to 700 grams of this, um, which would be more than enough to make a sweater I think. Um, when I swatched um, the first three times, um, I'm just using this which is 25 grams and it was creating a huge swatch so I do really think that my my jumper will probably need I don't know say 400 maybe a bit less and as these are about two pound a ball that's a bargain so we'll see how we get on um I hopefully I'm now putting in the swatch videos for you to see Okay, so this is attempt two. I'm happy with the ribbing, which has got the 3.5 mil needle. Not so happy with the eyelets because I feel that they're not staggered enough. There's too many of them and they're too close together. This cable's curling, so it's difficult to show you. Um, so I'm gonna rip this back and then I'm gonna, these are all sort of got two stitches in between. I think I'm gonna put maybe four or even five. Um, I just want the bigger eyelets, a lot more staggered, a lot more like the picture. So, now I've shown you that I have made some progress. It's time to rib it back. Yeah. So on the first one, the ribbing, I know what I did. So, because I frogged these toes to then cast on the swatch, I used this end, so on the other sock that I unraveled, and this is the one that I've ignored. Um, and as you will unravel it, can you see how it's really crinkly? Well, I'd knitted my rib with that, and the rib was so irregular that it just looked awful. And yes, I'm supposed to block my swatches, um, but it just looks so unnecessarily untidy that I frogged it, cast on a second lot of ribbing, did um, the eyelets as I hopefully will be showing you, then decided it wasn't right, they were too close together, um, I want a much more spread out pattern in a diamond, so it would be like that, does that look dodgy, so you'd have one there, one there and then like that 
and repeated. Um, and the, the second swatch where I actually got round to doing the eyelets, it was just too close together, it just, it wasn't right. And the third one I played around with adding a few more stitches in between, but again, it just was not big enough. So I'm going to go really big actually and go for like nine stitches in between um, and hopefully I will have a bit more progress to show you but it's the start of a, another jumper that is up here that I want to create. Um, I think with this jumper, the eyelet one, it's very neutral, very basic and I can make that, I could wear that in the office or um, just a casual, just a casual outfit. This one, I'm probably going to be wearing with leggings and a nice thick scarf that I'm going to knit in the winter. So, sort of spring and winter wardrobe coming through here. Not so much in the way of um, summer. Okay, so they're my two main works in progress. Um, I did cast on a pair of socks and they haven't come back to me yet. I have also been doodling in my journal ideas. I could do with printing a few things off Pinterest, getting them in my bullet journal and just having them there ready for when I'm thinking, oh, I want to make a new project. You know, my inspiration's there, ready, and I can crack on. A little bit like a mood board. Um, I'd quite like to make one of those for this granny square jumper just for reference really. Though I do just check on my phone if need be but I like them in my journals. Um, so now I can move on to stash enhancements. I have, oh, I've brought some wonderful things, absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm going to start with this item smack bang in front of me here. Um, as a little introduction, I spent yesterday, which is Friday the 1st of June, um, with my grandmother and I went to her knitting group at her local library and then we went to her local yarn shop, um, boys, and I picked up some yarn. I mean, I said to her, oh, we'll just have a look around. I probably won't get anything. And then I realised they stuck Stylecraft. I love Stylecraft yarn. Um, I use Stylecraft yarn for the Just Because blanket, if you can remember those. Um, the candy floss pink is used in all of those squares. And I have got two more balls of the candy floss pink Stylecraft double knit just so I can finish that blanket um, there has been a little bit of a change in the blanket in that I I don't need another blanket guys I have too many blankets I have a couple that I actually want to find new homes for so I think these will become a blanket for a baby girl or you know, a young child, female, because it's all pink, though if a boy wants it, he can have it. Um, I'm going to finish them off and sell them. I think I've got enough squares to make two, so I was going to make one with all the light squares together, and then I was going to make one with all of the darker outer colours together. Um, I say I've got enough to finish them. I've got 100 grams, so... 200 grams, sorry, 100 grams for each of the blankets. But if not, I know where it's stocked now. Um, it's great to find local stockists. I don't have to pay postage. I can just go in, I can squish, I can see the colours, and I can buy and come away with it. And technically, should them be able to work on it there and then, though I haven't yet. My next acquisition, <sighs> prepare yourselves. Running along the pink theme, Stylecraft. Yes, this has happened. 
So this is Style Crafts Special uh, Aaron with Wool Special by Style Craft. It's 80% premium ac acrylic, 20% wool, and the shade is Wild Rose. And can we just get a zoom? Can we just look at that? Oh my goodness. It's like a pastely pink with these other hints of this, like a yellow and a lilac running through there. I love it. I absolutely love it. I saw it in another shop and at the time couldn't justify buying it because yeah I've got a lot to work through. Can you see up there the denim that I said I'm gonna make a jumper out of this. It's not happened but I'm swatching for another one. So I didn't really need it but as my grandma said you really like it and you might not be able to get it again so you have to get it. So I got this and Because I've got 400 grams, I think it's going to be another knitted project because crochet eats yarn. And I'm, I think I'm going to make a cropped cable jumper. Again, I need a little bit of a pin interest binge um, so I can get the details straight in my head. But this is what this is destined to become. Um, just, I'm so impressed. What do you think to my pink? <laughs> it's taking over. Um, and then the other item that I brought, which I got online. Okay, more than one item that I brought. But the next one I'm going to show you is my interchangeable needle set. Um, so these are the Drops Pro Classics interchangeable circular needle set. Let me get it opened up so you can hopefully see without the glare. So it is a set of circular needles, interchangeable, um, the 4.5s are missing and that's what I'm knitting the uh, this jumper swatch on. I did the ribbing in 3.5, I've gone up to 4.5s for the actual body. Um, so these start at 3.5 and go up to 8mm. Um, which I think is decent and I'll probably use the 8 mils on this um, and then with it comes numerous cables so I've got the 60 which is on the swatch I've got the I've got two 80s and I've also got a hundred um, with all of the, the tighteners and the end caps and they just pop behind the actual needles. Russell, Russell, Russell. Like so. And I've got my own little set. Um, I've been eyeing these up for a long, long time. I wanted a affordable starter pack of interchangeable needles. Um, they cost about £23 from, I think it was Purple Yarns, Purple Sheep Yarns. Um, I found them online. I had been looking at Wool Warehouse, um, but they just were, they didn't have them in stock. Didn't seem to be getting them back in. Had I've got them from there, then I would have bought more of the Stylecraft. But as it is, I found it elsewhere anyway. Um, but I did want to get over the postage, <laughs> so I did buy some more yarn. Are you ready for this? Um, I mean, okay, I bought more yarn, but. I'm, I'm happy with it, so um, let me show you. This is the yarn. So I've ordered from Purple Sheep, you can see that logo there. Um, let me undo it, I'm sorry about the crinkle. I didn't think to undo it before I recorded. So I've got Drops you well drops love you number nine unicolor recycled cotton which is this mustard colour um it's a little bit darker than I thought it would be but I, I'm happy with that it looks incredibly fine um so it calls for three mil needles but 
I think you could go smaller. Um, and there's 50 grams, 100% cotton. The colour is 107. Very imaginative. Um, I have four balls of those, so 200 grams. My plan is to make some sort of summer tank top, crop top, festival top. Don't know what I'm doing, but it's going to be a top. Um, eyelets. There's going to be eyelets in it. That's all I can tell you at the moment. I haven't even doodled. And again, I might just go on a little bit of a Pinterest splurge and then print off the top few um, as inspiration for my design. Then I've also brought some more cotton. I've got Drops Paris Unicolor. It's 100% cotton. I've got this in the darker grey. It's colour number 24. And I've also got it in the lighter grey, which is colour number 23. Now with these, I have had a friend request that I make some makeup pad removers with them. Um, it needs to be cotton to be kind to your face, but also because my friend is vegan and so she would not like me to send her something that has been made with wool. Um, so I'm looking forward to crocheting those up and being able to remove my makeup, which I rarely ever wear, but I've treated you today. <laughs> um, I want to be able to take that off without having to use a makeup wipe every time. Sometimes I might just wear nothing but mascara and it seems such a waste to take out an entire wipe just to take off a, like one coat of mascara. Um, and these will be washable. Um, I've read that you should make them a little bit bigger than maybe you'd like them because once you wash them, they reduce in size. So I'm gonna see how many I can get out of those two um, balls and see if I can sell any and if I can give any on to people. So <laughs> I just realized I'm starting to look incredibly tired. I am. It's been a good weekend. <laughs> and it's Saturday afternoon at about two o'clock and I need a nap. Um, I think that that's all of my new acquisitions. No, one more. You ready for this? Well, there's a couple more really, but pattern wise. Okay, um... Last week when I went to one of my knit knitting meetups, I nipped into John Lewis to look for cotton yarn. Um, it wasn't quite what I wanted and it was pricey, so that's why I, as my grandma puts it, sent away for them. Hello Darcy. I picked up this magazine. It was in the sale. It should have been £4 something. I paid £1.50. The reason I picked this magazine up, the, well, the first pattern that I saw and I thought I have to make it, is this. This dress. Can you imagine? Really, really want to make myself the dress. I also like, there's an, an, a halter neck top, but I like it, but I'd, I'd make changes to it. There's also a wrap top. Dida. Stop making noise, please. Let's get this top. Wrap top. Oh. And then there's our. Oh, there's just so many. There's a few other wrap tops and then there's this one. So £1.50 well spent, I feel. Um, there's at least four, maybe five patterns in there that I would make. I mean, do. £1.50, that's great. And then I was in the library with my grandma and I just thought, oh, I'll just check their craft shelves. And I found a book, Learn How to Crochet. I'll put the picture in here of the front cover by Anna Wilkinson. 
and it's got the most amazing patterns they're in black and white sorry but granny striped jumper and a cropped t-shirt let me put the colour pictures in for you um, both of which I want to make, both of which I actually have the yarn for so I'm really quite chuffed at the moment I've got some really good patterns I've got lots of new yarn and my needles mean that I can get on with so many jumpers um, and all these patterns that I've got so I just want to say thank you so much for watching um, comment below, let me know what you think to my yarns and my progress on the jumpers um, if you've got any suggestions of any jumper patterns that you think I might like just thank you so much for spending this time with me I'm going to sign off have a lovely afternoon, evening wherever you are and I will see you again soon bye Okay, so this is attempt two. I'm happy with the ribbing, which has got the 3.5 mil needle. Not so happy with the eyelets because I feel that they're not staggered enough. There's too many of them and they're too close together. This cable's curling, so it's difficult to show you. Um, so I'm gonna rip this back and then I'm gonna, these are all sort of got two stitches in between. I think I'm gonna put maybe four or even five um, I just want the bigger eyelets a lot more staggered, a lot more like the picture. So, now I've shown you that I have made some progress, it's time to rib it back. <laughs>